All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here, and today I'm gonna to be doing a video and a discussion with you about the Samsung Galaxy S21. So for me, I've been a Samsung fanboy forever. I've had pretty much every Galaxy S phone I can get my hands on except for the S20 Ultra. Most recently, I even had the S20 FE. So I'm a big fan of Samsung. But with the S21, there's been a lot of rumors that have been either received very well or just really pissing people off and for me, I'm kind of indifferent on some of them. Some of them I hate, some of them I love, whatever. So that's why I want to do this video to see what you think and what your idea is of the rumors because they will all not be a rumor in two days when the Unpacked event goes down. So with this, until then, I'm just gonna be dwelling about these in my brain. So, uh, so yeah, so let's dive into those. Now, if this is your first time ever to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, I do a video about once a week, if not two, and I do tech reviews, case reviews. Right now, I've been all about the iPhone 12, to be honest with you, um, but uh, when the S21 comes out, I promise you, I will have that in my hands first day, uh, but thank you. Um, so yeah, so rumor number one is going to be price, and I want to start with price because price is the most important ingredient to all of these issues that I have. So the price is very important. If the price is not cheaper than the S20, then a lot of these rumors are going to be devastating, in my opinion, to the sales and the growth of the S21 because it has to be cheaper. Everything's going cheaper, right? So even the S20 FE is a fantastic phone. It check marks all the boxes that people care about and it's a $699 phone at the initial launch. So it's a really good phone. MKBHD said it was the best smartphone that he thought of in 2020. That's huge, right? So, and it's cheaper. But with S21, it might, it might not. I don't know. So there's rumors that say it might be $50 cheaper than the S20. There's rumors that I've seen where it says it might be $850. I've seen a rumor just now where it said it might be $1,050, which would make it more expensive than the S20. Now we gotta remember that these are all conversions of euros, things like that. So the price might not convert properly here because they might just be different prices in different parts of the world. But here in the United States, I really hope to see that the phone is in the $700 to $800 range because if it's not and the rumors are true, then it's pretty disappointing that Samsung decided to take a step backwards with the premium flagship phone that they think everyone just wants to buy. And trust me, I want to buy it, but I don't want to buy it for a premium price. So that little caveat to start with is why I think it's important to remember with some of these rumors that they might not be a huge deal breaker if it's a cheaper phone. So number one is going to be the screen. Everyone's been really upset about the screen because everyone says that it's going to be a full HD screen on the S21 and S21 Plus. The S21 Ultra is going to be the only one that's going to have a quad HD screen. Um, the, oh, the Ultra also is going to have curved edges, whereas opposed to the S21 and S21 Plus are going to have a flat screen, which I am all for. I hate curved edges. I love the flat screen. Just way better in my opinion. But with the Full HD screen, now if you have the S20 and you wanna use 120 hertz refresh rate, you have to go down to the Full HD, which okay, I get that, but you had that as an option. You weren't forced to only have 1080 versus 1440. So if the price is cheaper, then I'm okay with that. But if the price is the same, then I'm not okay with sacrificing the ability to have a higher resolution and still pay the same price. So very weird decision. In my opinion, what Samsung should have done is corrected the problem in the first place and had them all be quad HD screens, but all have the ability to do 120 Hertz with quad HD on. There's plenty of cell phone companies out there that are doing it right now. Why not Samsung? So I just feel like they should have done that instead of the opposite. Um, it is going to be 6.2 inches on the S21, 6.7 inches on the S21 Plus, and a big boy 6.1 inch on the Ultra. So all of those 
are big, beautiful screens. I'm personally going to do the S21. I think 6.2 inches is a perfect phone size for me. Um, but I would have loved to get my hand. I would love to get my hands on the Ultra, but it's just too expensive. Um, they're all going to come out of the box with One UI 3.1 based on Android 11. So good there. They all are going to have the brand spanking new badass Snapdragon 888 chip. So that's going to make the phone perform excellent in the United States. Um, so yeah, so here in the USA, you're going to get that awesome Snapdragon chip. So I'm really excited to see the performance with that. Now, the other rumor is going to be that you're going to be going backwards in your RAM. So the S20 had 12 gigs. Well, the S21 is going to have eight gigs. So if you want 12 gigs, you have to get the Ultra. So the S21 Plus and the S21, eight gigs of RAM only, that's it. So that is unfortunate, but once again, if they're taking a step backwards, I hope they step back in price. I'm okay with it then. But if you're gonna tell me that, hey, you're getting eight gigs versus 12 gigs now, but you're gonna pay the same price, I'm not okay with that. I think the phone's still gonna perform just fine. I think it's gonna be a very fast, responsive phone. It's gonna be awesome still. But once again, I just don't like the idea of paying more for less things. Um, you are going to pretty much have the same camera setup as usual. It's going to have a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a 12 megapixel main lens, and then a 64 megapixel telephoto lens on the S21 and the S21 Ultra or uh, S21 Plus. Now the Ultra is going to have a 12 megapixel ultra wide a 108 megapixel main camera uh, with a Gen 2 sensor. It's gonna have three times optical zoom, 10 megapixel, 10 times optical. Uh, so yeah, all this stuff, it, it's gonna have a better camera. But once again, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. Um, storage wise, another rumor is the lack of expandable storage. So from everything that I'm seeing, this is a true statement. So they are taking away the expandable micro SD slot to be able to add extra storage to your phone. Now, this is a rumor that I hate. I don't care if it's the same price or cheaper. I hate it. Even if it was cheaper, it should have expandable storage because guess what? All your other cheaper Samsung phones had it. So I don't know why this is something that y'all are doing. I don't like it. I really don't. Because you are giving us 128 gigs of standard storage on the S21 and S21 Plus, you can get 256 if you wanted to, to pay more money. And then there is the option to get a 512 gigs of storage on the Ultra, but you don't have the 512 gig option on the S21 and S21 Plus. So I hope this is a rumor, but all signs are leading to it being true. So this is a rumor that I really, really, really hate. Um, now, as far as the materials of the phone go, this is another rumor that people are either loving or hating. Now, I'm indifferent about it. I don't really care if the price is right. Um, and that is the plastic back on the S21 and the S21 Plus. So those two phones will not have glass back phones anymore. They will be plastic back phones. I'm okay with that if it's cheaper. I like the back of the S21 FE. I'm okay with it. I usually have a skin on my phone anyways. And then I usually have a case on my phone. So most people are gonna be like me and have a case on their phone. That's at least from all the research that I've seen, most people put cases on their phone. So you're probably not gonna care, but for the people that don't, and the people that like to see the beauty and feel of the premium glass back and just the way it looks, then you're, unfortunately you're gonna have to deal with it or get the Ultra, because the Ultra will have a glass back, but the S21 and S21 Plus won't. Another rumor is that they won't have charging bricks on any of them. That rumor sucks. If that's the truth, I hate that Samsung decided to follow in Apple's footsteps and do this. I think it's a dumb decision. It's not saving the world. It's not saving the wells. All you're doing is saving your profits. You're making us buy other things like Apple. And I've always defended Samsung saying that you didn't do that. And you even made fun of Apple for doing that. And here we are, months later, you're doing it. I really hope you don't, but from everything I've seen, it's gonna happen. I think it's a dumb decision, that's just me. You can comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on that, but you know how I feel, I hate it. Um, but other than that, guys, there's not a whole a lot of other rumors. I know that the S21 is gonna have a uh, 4,000 milliamp battery, 
Uh, the S21 Plus is going to have a 4800 milliamp battery, and the Ultra is going to have a 5000 milliamp battery. So all their batteries are going to be great. They're going to get you through a whole day. If you're a power phone user, the Ultra obviously will probably get you through a day and then some. Um, but the battery life is going to be good. Uh, they will support up to 25 watt charging on the Ultra, or excuse me, on the S21 and S21 Plus. Uh, there has been conversations of maybe the S21 Ultra supporting up to 45 watts. We'll see. Um, obviously wireless charging and reverse charging as well on both phones. Um, so yeah, guys, those are the rumors that I can think of. If I missed anything, do have a discussion with me in the comments. Uh, I am dying to hear what other people think about this phone. But for me, I truly think that Samsung might be trying to get away from the love of the Galaxy S line and focusing more on the foldable devices, which I really hate if that is true, because I don't ever see myself being a foldable guy but maybe I am, maybe I could be swayed if they get cheaper. I don't know, I just feel like I wish that they would have focused a lot more attention on this launch because I think it's a very important phone for them during the pandemic and coming back from a rebound of 2020, hopefully. Um, but yeah, let me know what y'all think, guys. I think the phone looks beautiful, but uh, we'll see once it's in my hand. So uh, hit that like button, guys, and then subscribe. I, like I said, I do a video once a week. I'd love to have you a part of my YouTube family here. And uh, with that being said, guys, we'll see you uh, after the unpacked event and see what the rumors are that came true or not. And uh, have a blessed day and be safe out there.